What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the KS Moto Cafe. Hope you had a great week. For this week's episode, I want to talk about something that scared the shit out of me while watching some of the YouTube crash videos. And it's called a death wobble, feed wobble, and a tank slapper. So, let's click that intro button and let's get started. So, if you haven't subscribed yet and this is your second or third time coming back to my channel, please click that subscribe button because it does help my channel out and it gives you an opportunity to win the monthly prize of $25 from KS Moto Cafe. So without further ado, let's talk about the death wobble and how that phenomena happens or how to de-escalate it from becoming a tank slapper. So let's watch some footages of what a death wobble, speed wobble, tank slapper looks like, just so you can get the idea of what, what it is. Essentially, the science behind these wobbles really is the fact that there is a different velocity between your front wheel and the rear wheel. And a velocity really is a speed and direction. Most of the time, because you're on two wheel system, they are always a little bit slightly different. However, when you get to the higher speeds, that difference between the front and the rear can get bigger if you either when you hit a bump or you have a change of friction points or if you're doing something like a wheelie. So because of that when the front wheel and the rear wheel uh, has so much difference what the bike will try to do is correct itself and the bike will naturally create a harmonic resonance where it will move back and forth until it corrects itself to go straight again and the velocity from the front wheel and the rear wheel is the same once again or at least close to it. The speed is 90 miles per hour, but we have filmed this weave in slow motion so that we can study the effect. Notice how front and rear wheels move in different directions. The rider's head and shoulders remain fairly still. Now, I have experienced a very small amount of speed wobble where you would consider that as a, as a head wobble. And that happens at a slower speed and the bike shakes like this, but it's easier to maintain and manage uh, at a lower speed, obviously. But once that escalates into something that is more violent, it becomes a tank slapper or a death wobble where your, your handlebars start hitting the tank. And at that point, it's almost too late and you just, you just have to ride it through to hope to survive from it. If the rider sits up whilst traveling at speed, the weave begins suddenly. This is a dangerous situation which could arise with a young rider who has been speeding and sits up when slowing down. So what causes that? Well, I already talked about the different friction points, different, different mechanisms of how it could happen. So doing a wheelie will definitely increase that chance of having a speed wobble, as well as going over certain bumps or different friction points where at a fraction of a second, your front wheel is misaligned from the rear wheel for a short amount of time and if you're at a higher speed then obviously the the difference of the front and rear velocities will be a little bit more wider therefore your bike will again get into that rhythm of harmonic resonance by going left and right left and right now there are ways to prevent it and one simple way is to do preventive maintenance on your motorcycle which you always should as a good motorcycle owner making sure that your wheels are well aligned and that it's balanced properly, especially your front wheel. If we take the worn rear tire and couple it with the racing front tire, the weave is so bad that even our experienced riders become alarmed. 
as well that you don't overload one side of your handlebar so if you're putting in gadgets or too much of aftermarket parts on one side where the wind friction is constantly hitting on one side of the handlebar more than the other side so you got to really balance the front side because everything comes down to whether or not your front wheel and the back wheel is in line with the speed and the direction you're going. Now, let's say you're riding and you have started to develop the speed wobble. How do you get out of it? How do you prevent it from turning into a tank slapper? Well, one way is to throttle off and then the other way is to throttle on. And both mechanisms will help you balance your bike a little bit quicker rather than waiting for the bike to do it itself. But what you don't want to do is touch that front brake lever and as a beginner rider who don't have much experience that is something very tempting to do especially if it happens to you on a very high speed uh, and naturally all you want to do is stop but i am warning you while you're having that speed wobble and you touch that front brake lever you will make that speed wobble much more violent and it will immediately turn into a tank slapper or potentially uh, jackknife the front wheel and you will lay that bike right down and because you're going at highway speeds beyond 100 kilometers per hour uh, this will be quite dangerous to to come out from so you can throttle off you can throttle on but don't press that front brake now what i heard is that rear brake might help by balancing the back end or the tail end of the motorcycle but because i have not done it myself i don't think i can uh confidently give you guys that advice and from all the youtube videos i've seen there wasn't many mentioning of using the rear brakes so throttle off or throttle on and let the bike do its thing uh, have a firm but not tight grip on your your handlebar you do want to transfer a little bit more load onto the front end by leaning forward. The rider can eliminate the weave immediately by lying flat. The bike will run quite true, enabling him to slow down safely. But not enough that you're fighting that actual pivoting maneuver that the bike is trying to fix itself. Because the more you fight, the more bike will fight you back. and. Mechanically, the bike will always win because it's made out of metal and you are not. Now, if your speed wobble turns into a tank slap or, or where it's so violent that it's starting to hit the tank, uh, there isn't much you can do as a rider. That's kind of at that point where you, you kind of have to let the bike do its thing. I know it sounds very scary, but essentially it's, it's kind of left in God's hands. But like I said, if you don't want to experience it, then the way to avoid it is keep your bike maintained as well as if you're not an experienced stunt rider or a person that's, you know, experienced in doing wheelies, then avoid being peer pressured to do any of that kind of stuff. A lot of experienced motorcyclists, especially on sport bikes, when I ask if, if they experienced the speed wobble or the death wobble, 99% of the time the, the rider said yes, either one or two times, and they did say that it's one of their top most scary uh, experiences of their life. But luckily they all came out alive, which is great, but I'm here to explain it to you guys so you guys can be more prepared when it happens to you. With that said, comment below if you have ever experienced a speed or a death wobble with the details of what kind of bike you were on and how fast you were going. And then we can discuss a little bit more on how you got out of it so everyone can understand and hopefully learn from your own experience of the speed wobbles. And again, if you haven't subscribed yet and you like the content I'm providing, uh, click that subscribe button and press a like of this video. And I'll be sure to provide more content like this. And as always, ride safe and ride prepared. We'll see you next week. Peace.